Hello there, world of tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Drudels Blitz, and in today's video, I'll be playing in the tier 10 German super heavy, the mouse. A vehicle that's, um, I don't really know my opinions on it. On paper, it's a really fun take, and in certain games, it can be great. In other games, it's a pile of crap. What do I mean? Well, there's a couple problems with the mouse. First of all, it's the slowest tier 10 in the game, meaning that it is entirely reliant on your team. Depending on which way the team goes, obviously, you are not the decider of where your team goes. You are simply a victim of your team's gameplay. And that's what I hate about the mouse and most slow tanks is that you are basically a pawn in your team's battle. You have to go where they go, which isn't that big of a deal, but it is annoying because I'm in a tank that should be the leader of the team. You should use the mouse and its HP and capabilities to support you. But usually what ends up happening is your team YOLOs in, dies before you get there, and then the game's over. It's very common. So, that's the first thing. The mouse is very slow, and obviously with that slowness means that it's uh, caught out in the open quickly. If your team ditches you, it's very easy to die. I mean, this is a great example here. If something decides to flank from the rear, I am so much slower than even like the Jagdpanzers on my team. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. Now, to be fair, the mouse does have some strengths going for it. It has 3000 health. It has pretty good DPM and uh, it has decent armor. And those are pretty good capabilities, but it also comes with a lot of downsides, and I can already tell you the downsides. It's going to be, whatever that tank was in the base cap is going to roll off to my side and be a rat. But we're going to move up. We'll see what we can do. We got an E3, we got a Krom. Their team's already down a tank, and we've just gotten here. And, uh, we'll aim it on the E3. There you go. Nice. Not sure why our Yag fired an HE, but he did. Uh, let's reload again. We got the 60 over here, and not able to shoot the 60. And now our Yag's being shot on the side. I'm not the one being shot on the side, but it's still a good example of large, large tanks having large weak spots. So we got the 60 TP, and we got the Kron. I'm going to push behind the 60. I have a feeling he's just going to send it, but we'll see. Let's see, he does shoot. Okay, perfect. Yes, nice. Okay, now this is where Prime Mouse gameplay comes into action, because... We can push the 60 and uh, get some bleeds out into his tank. However, I lied. I actually can't pen the 60 anywhere. <laughs> there you go. I didn't have the gun depression to hit him at that angle. All right, our 50B should be able to get that clear. So I'm going to move up and I'm going to push the Kron, the Grill, and all these tanks over here. To be honest, though, if I was in like any other tier 10, I probably could have done a lot more damage at this point. We just drove for half the game. That's literally all I did was drive. Uh, we're going to move up this hill a bit, and let's see, the girl got shot, keep on going, keep on going, where's the Fosh, there it is, I can't physically do anything to the Fosh because of the level of armor it features, so we're just going to keep going, and there's the Kron, let's aim at a high explosive on his rear, there you go, nice shot, 660, that means we only need to get one more shell out, and we will be at a pretty solid amount of damage, let's, nope, never mind, so, yeah, that's a, that's a good example of mouse gameplay there. We drove. That was our game. We drove from start to end. We drove. And we got 2,600 out, which is something, I guess, right? But not that much, really. It was a really, really just lame battle. Uh, to be fair, our team did pretty good in general, but that's kind of how the mouse works. You know, a lot of the time you play this tank, it's either your team instantly steamrolls or your team instantly dies. There's no in-between. If your team instantly dies, your game's over immediately. You know, if you're playing on Himmelsdorf or or Castilla is a great example. You, you by the time you get to anywhere on Castilla, your team can already be dead, and it's really, really unfortunate. But uh, that's what you have to deal with when driving this tank. And we had the opposite side there, where I drove from start to finish, fired every single second I could and did 2500 that's all i could do I, I mean i want to drive this tank aggressive i want to take shots for the team i want to do all those things but it's very hard to when you're always the last person into the front line in the tank that always wants to be the first into the front line the one thing i like about world of tanks pc is that while the maps are larger there's also more tanks and because of that there's a heavy flank and a medium flank 
And no matter what, the heavies usually go to the heavy flank, and the mediums usually go to the medium flank. Now, yeah, there might be a couple stragglers which go to both sides differently, but point being, if you're in a mouse on World of Tanks PC, you're almost guaranteeing that you're going to run into heavies, which is nice. On P Blitz, you're not guaranteeing that. I can drive over to this flank of the map, and if the enemy team for some reason decides that they want to go over to base A, their whole team will go there. And I'll have to drive my mouse across the entire map to meet them. And that's what sucks. It's all a guessing game with this tank. But it's also not a guessing game because you have to stick with your team. So this battle, I have to stick with my team and guess where they're going to go. So I guess we'll see what happens. A lot of guessing. Oh, there's the enemy IS-4. So we did get our guess correct. There you go. We got the Waffenträger Panzer IV. We got the 60 TP. There you go. That was a lucky shot. I can tell you that was lucky because I know how this gun works. All right. Well, we reload. IS-4 gets a shell into my teammate. And... No, I was really hoping that would hit. Oh, well. Reloading. The mouse does have, like, alright DPM, which is kind of good. You know, just the fact that you can uh, get out shells into your opponents pretty quickly. 57 heavy bounces me. We reload again. Now, a lot of people like to side scrape in the mouse. I actually don't. I think it's a lot better to just poke, showing your front track. And the reason why is, instead of aiming it on your turret cheeks, they aim it on your track. Your turret cheeks are the big problem for this vehicle. And uh, I don't like to show them all too often. All right, let's see. We got the IS-4 over here. There you go. Yeah, you can see the turret cheek, even with enhanced armor, like just AP ammo right through me. No problem. Definitely something to keep in mind about this tank. But we're doing okay. We're getting out bleeds. We're doing our job. The 57 heavy crosses. And I'm going to move over here. Let's see. Got the Waffenträger off to the... Ooh, uh, see ya! <laughs> Easy peasy. Now we got the IS-4, and IS-4 bounces me. I'm not going to waste my repair kit on that, because there's really no reason to. We get our repair kit back. Now we continue pushing up. We do have the 60 on me. I don't really care if that 60 shoots me. I really don't, because it's my job to kill the IS-4. 60 can tunnel me all he wants. Alright, the Yag gets a nice shell into the IS-4. And we do get penned. Again, you know, heat shells, especially with the Cali changes, kind of butter through your tank pretty easily. It's disappointing, but it's also a reality you're going to have to deal with in this tank. The uh, Yag Panzer gets bonked. We're going to aim in on you. We get the bonk into you. And uh, all that's left is the 57 Heavy. BZ HEs him for 975. That's insane. All right, and, uh, well, we're going to try and squeeze through here. There you go. We did actually make the gap. Aiming, aiming. There you go, 484. It's not a bad battle. This was a better game because we were actually able to fight heavies. You can see when you're able to actually go up against enemy tanks, the mouse does well. It does pretty good. I mean, it has a decent amount of damage per shot at 460. It has a decent amount of armor. Even if I only block, like, 1,100 this game, that still means I have 4,000 total health. That's a lot. So, I like the mouse. I actually do. I just hate how it is so team-dependent. And being in a team-dependent tank is not a very, very fun th thing. So, let me know what you guys think. I think it's a good tank, but I think it's not for uh, the faint of heart. I think this is really for a vehicle that... Or, or a player that only knows how to angle. And even angling, you'll notice I barely angle in my mouse. And the reason why is I know that if I angle and I spend all this time trying to bounce shots, I'm just not going to get any damage out. So I just trade. You have 3,000 health. So if somebody shoots you for 3,000, you know that you're at least dealing 3,000 in return. But uh, I like the mouse. I think it's fun. I think it's a great tank. I just wish that... I honestly wish that it went 30 instead of 25. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this vehicle. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!